Hello and welcome back to a new episode on this channel. This is the second episode from a new series about the prototyping to Marvel. And today I am showing you how to create or how to yeah, just make and have an float a floating action button like you know it from yeah from any Android app that you know. So what I mean is basically this button right here which is floating, which is staying at this position while you are scrolling through your app. And we want to do this, to recreate this in Marvel. So we just go over to Marvel and we are creating a new project. And the project name, let's call it floating button. I want to do it with an Android device and I create the project. Now in the last video I showed you how to import your screens, your artboards from Sketch. And, but today we are just doing it from normal files that we already saved or exported. Um, you can do this with Photoshop or with Sketch or with any other program you like. You select your files and you upload them to Marvel. So here we have them. And what you need to do to, in order to get this floating action button is to go to your uh, favorite design application and then you need to place it in the bottom corner and this area right here has to be transparent. So you see it uh, in our browser that we have a transparent area right here. And to get this uh, action button effect. I will show it to you right now how it looks like. You don't have, have the button right here. You ha still have this button down here. And to get the button you just click on the fix footer and drag this up to yeah, what you would like. For example this 300 pixel amount. So if we look at it now you see we have this button right in our design. So if we want to make a click effect of this button and therefore I made a second screen where with many more options I also just drag this area to the top so that it is still uh, transparent and then I just make a clickable area on the first screen and I do it with a fade effect and it's navi um, natively uh, activated is the click or tap option. Then I jump to the second screen and here I do the same. If I click it I want to have the fade effect. So if we preview it now you will see that we are having a nice effect of um, these floating buttons. We can click them, we can just try them out and it's really easy to use them while we are prototyping. And they are very important for most applications um, that are relevant for Android. So this was just a quick tutorial to show you how to create and use them in Marvel. You can create them of course as I said in Photoshop and in Sketch. So yeah, thank you for listening, thank you for your time and enjoy your day. If you would like to see more videos like this give me a thumb up or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Okay, see you guys for the next video.